Also with us, Steve McMahon, a Democratic strategist and the CEO and co-founder of Purple Strategies. Elise, it, it still seems for the Clinton campaign, the best material for Hillary Clinton every day is whatever Donald Trump just said. Well, and that's why this week has been damaging to her, just because so much attention has been focused on the FBI and the investigation surrounding her email server. If she can get back to just pointing out what ridiculous things Donald Trump is saying and the negativity surrounding Donald Trump, his message, this entire campaign, she is in much firmer, better territory. Steve McMahon, I, even in uh, campaigns, uh, well, I was going to say campaigns like this. I take it back, no one ever has. <laughs> been in a really no one one's like ever been in a campaign like this. Uh, but you've, you've certainly been there where there's four campaign days left. Uh, obviously, Hillary Clinton likes keeping the focus on what Donald Trump was talking about today, his temperament. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and, you know, if you look at the polls, that's one of the areas where Donald Trump is weakest and Hillary Clinton is strongest. So to the extent that they're both talking about temperament and reminding voters that this is a key voting issue, that benefits Hillary Clinton enormously and, and it really hurts Donald Trump. Let's listen to President Obama today staying on the issue of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is uniquely unqualified to be president. No, I, I'm not joking. You laugh. I'm not joking. He is temperamentally unfit to be commander-in-chief. Here's a guy who, who says he's a great businessman. But it seems like a lot of his business is built around stiffing small businesses and workers out of what he owes them, work they've done. He thinks, he thinks it's cute or smart or funny to basically not pay somebody who's done work for him and say, go ahead and sue me because I got more money than you and you can't do anything about it. Larry Sabato, is, is, that, uh, is that approach based on voter analysis, that that is what is working with voters, talking about Donald Trump's temperament and character? Oh, absolutely. And this has come through for months, in fact, even before the conventions. And it's just as true today as it was then. The two big barriers to Donald Trump becoming president, at least attitudinally among voters, is they don't think he has the temperament to sit in the Oval Office and make those critical decisions, and they don't think he's qualified in terms of experience and background to deal with complex public policy issues. The more those two things can be stressed, uh, the better for Democrats. And President Obama had a, a marvelous term there uniquely unqualified um, and again I think most people would would agree with that just based on the facts all right let's look at the latest uh, uh, Clinton campaign ad that goes straight at this I'd look her right in that fat ugly face of hers he's a war hero because he was captured I like people that weren't captured okay you got to see this guy oh, I don't know what I said oh, I don't remember talk of maybe using nuclear weapons. Nobody wants to hear that about an American and president. Why are we making them? Why do we make them? I would bomb the shit out of them. I love war in a certain way. Elise, I, I think about uh, people like you and Steve wishing you could be in the room working <laughs> on ads against Donald Trump because they just serve up the, the, Donald Trump serves up that material. Yeah, he's a gift that keeps giving when it comes to ads. But you know, back to this temperament issue that we're talking about and how Clinton and President Obama are trying to stress this, stress this on the campaign trail this week. Out of all the focus groups that I've sat in during this campaign season, 32 focus groups, temperament was the absolute number one issue that undecided voters mentioned when it came to pulling the trigger for Donald Trump. They're just simply worried about not even what he would do domestically, but internationally. It's okay if he's a wrecking ball domestically, but internationally, they are really concerned. So this is definitely her closing argument. Yes. So Steve McMahon, uh, never mind the Supreme Court in the last four days of the campaign, would you suggest uh, the Clinton campaign just ignore issues, go straight at Donald Trump, the character? Absolutely. She's got a 40 or 45 point edge on this trait, which voters, as Elise points out, think is very important to a president. And I've sat in focus groups, too, and I've seen exactly the same thing. Voters are very worried about Donald Trump. They sort of like the fact that he wants to change Washington. They like they would like a little disruption in Washington, a lot of change and broken glass there. But they don't want that when it comes to the, to the Middle East or other parts of the world that are dangerous and scary. They want a steady, solid, experienced leader 
who's not going to fly off the handle and, you know, push the nuclear codes and, and get us into get us into a war. Steve McMahon, Elise Jordan, and Larry Sabato, thank you all for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it.